To anybody who's uh, tuning in since last week or who was watching the VOD, I uh, did make the executive decision to go and basically do as much stuff off screen as I could before I made the push for the end. Stan had been telling me there's about 15 hours of game left. I did everything that I was able to do here in about five? But there's still five characters left that I can't get on here, and it says there's eight required for the next level. I've heard that there's one more area to go through. I don't know how much game is actually left here right now, whether it's going to be a big surprise, or if we're going to be able to wrap things up within an hour. Either way, I'm going for everything that's left. Little Bridget and her crew here. No, of course it's Laura over here. Just, she, she wasn't the one in front, so I ended up hitting other buttons. How's it going, Laura? I... It's, it's been a rough day. And it's going to be a rougher one by the end of it. Because I kind of know how this story ends. Not because I've seen how it ends, but because this is a prequel. And I know <laughs> where it has to go to get where it needs to. <laughs> Mostly lurking in the background, study for midterms. Sure thing, peanut butters. Thanks for chilling. Either way. So yeah, I think I've gone through and I've cleared up just about every one of the uh, random little thingies and doodads and skill checks and all sorts of stuff that uh, was left in the maps that I hadn't done yet. The only, uh, thing, like, the only unique, uh, enemy that I know that's left is that level 55 Flying Fortress, and I would like to beat that thing on stream here, but I think I want to do it after I run forward a little bit. Hey, okay, we're at the waypoint. Have we far to go? We can't dally all day. I want to get myself a little bit more updated first. Why is an Emissary of Justice hanging out on top of the roof up there? You know what? I don't actually want to know. If I go and check out my blade stuff, you can see everybody's basically filled out now. There's like between one and three points left on every one of them. A few of them are craft related, so I'm probably not going to max everybody tonight since I don't want to side turn things to go looking for item reagents. But uh, I, I imagine at least a couple of these blades will be maxed by the time we uh, by the time we wrap up at the night's end here. I spent all the points on the main characters. I think, yeah, I, I could I could look through their equipment really quick while we waited for Stan to come by. Also, nah, you know what? I'll, I'll do that later. Yeah, so it's all 20 percenters that I can get here. So I've got all of my bases covered, and Adam is providing two flames, assuming Egeon puts something down for the chain attacks. Still mostly okay with that. Do, but do I have anything better for these types of things? 12% of crit damage is HP and increased crit rate by 20%. I go by category. Got one for maximum HP by 22%. Actually, no, you know what? Just go by rarity. I'll only take the best stuff. Increases strength. Restores 9% of HP, I mean, of 9% HP of damage dealt after a successful auto. 17% of crit damage dealt is HP. Good lordy Lou. Alright, you get that one then. Yeah, take that. That's way better. Delta launched in. Yeah, I, I like this increased crit rate by 20% thing for her, because it's just going to keep her topped up. Starts each battle with aggro, increases guard rate. There's got to be something better for Hugo, though. I could give him just 5,500 HP. That probably wouldn't hurt. Is there anything better for the aggro? Increase aggro every second or start each battle. I, yeah, I think I like the start each battle one. Ooh. Fills party gauge on excellent specials. 
That would let us do more chains. Although I guess that's not really my problem right now. Fifty percent when recoverable HP exists. Okay, no, that that goes down. You'll just get aggro on your own. I'm fine with that. And then Adam, you've got increased crit rate by twenty-five and twelve percent. So yeah, do do I have an updated version of whatever this thing is? Go down to wherever his name is listed here and see if I can just see, see if I have a better one. Wow, this list got big. 12% of critical damage. Lazor headband. Yes, look at that. Increased crit rate by 30%. Done. Okay. Yeah, I really like the items that I've got on these guys. I see no need to really change them. As long as you remember what you need to emphasize. Hey, how's it going, Stan? Uh, it's going all right, dude. How are you doing? It's been a day for me. <laughs> A bunch of deflating things that really have nothing to do with me, but they all still kind of suck. Yeah. Like, with the Smash Direct, and everything I wanted showing up as not playable characters, and I'm like, oh. It's okay. And I feel that pain. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, and I didn't really accomplish much of anything at work because it's the day after a big, like, lockdown of, re of release stuff, which is like, hey, celebrations. We had a really good day yesterday, but like I didn't accomplish anything, which was like, ugh, I, why was I even here? And then, just before these guys talk here, and, and then, coworker, uh, and that, one of my longest coworkers at this place, who joined just before I did at this company, is quitting because she got a job at the place that turned me down. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm like, fucking. Ugh. So, I came home, and I took a power nap, and now I'm going to play a game in which I know everybody just has horrible things happen to them, because it's a prequel. And it's going to stop and because playing. you like not feeling happy. It's, it's, I'm gonna, it's, it's the last day that I'm playing my favorite fucking game of all time on stream after more than six months. This is how I'm choosing to, to turn up the day at the end. See, this is why I plan to start with Torna when I do my run, <laughs> and then go on to the main game. You already because know at least then... what's going on, though. This is all blind to me. This is how I experience it at best. Well, you know the end fates of everybody, so... That's true, but technically... I don't know how it gets there. I don't know the this awesome true. moments. This is true. So I have beers. <laughs> and oh, that, boy. That's how I'm going, <laughs> that's how I'm going to deal with today. <laughs> so what all you have to do? Um, I, I, went, I went through, I showed everybody else what was going on. Everybody has, like, t one to three nodes left on their charts. I've got every slate piece, every side quest, every skill check that I can get outside of progressing the story at level four community. Whatever's left after this, I want to do all I can before we kill this, the, the Malos at the end. Because we're going to kill him. I swear. Looks as if we're almost ready to proceed with the evacuation. If it wasn't for all your support, this might never have been able to pull this off. I thank you in the name of Torna. I don't know why you're thanking me. I'm a knight now, remember? You know what else? I'm really starting to like this place. <laughs> God damn it, Laura. <laughs> Stop making me attached. You get to see so many different walks of life here. It's a real melting pot. I've, known, I've noticed that. So many intertwining lives all together in one place. I have felt the same about the cities of Mor Ardain. There's much to like about their urban environments. You're making me want to pay a visit now. And we can all go together. <laughs> we'll finish off Malos and take Hugo back home personally. Oh yes, please. We'll welcome you with open arms. The street will be awash with cheer. I'd appreciate if we could skip any of the formal stuff. Hey, listen. Do you think we'll even stand a chance against Malos? Having a clue. His power seems so far off the charts, I couldn't even guess. 
still has his limits. And besides, good god, I am just never going to stop being shocked at how short I am compared to all of you people. <laughs> <laughs> She's so short! <laughs> Adam's never been able to handle me as effectively as he can now. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> That's right, Master Adam's more than prepared to take that creep down now. And we'll be back there in time to watch it happen, won't we, Mick? Kinda forgot that I was here, honestly. I have done absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. Those lads. You're not serious. You know how dangerous it is to be even remotely near Malos? Just by tagging along with us, you're putting your lives on the line. Well, I suppose we've been perfectly safe up till now, have we? We know what we're getting into, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Mithra, drop it. Come on, let's head back to the inn. I want to get a good night's sleep before the decisive battle. I'll really have to talk this through with Mikhail and Milton. <laughs> Just doubt yourself privately, Adam. Sure, go for that. Huh. <laughs> So, one of my favorite things that happened while I was doing the side questing, and I'm sad that I wasn't able to show it, was the results of the cooking contest. Oh my god, they're I'm so good. just gonna fill you in on what happened here with that. I went out and I got a bunch of stuff, and, uh, mm -hmm. and then Jin and the, uh, the inn owner and, uh, that quest lady cook person over here who did the thing... Sorel, The one who was really sad. Yeah, she was in it, and then Mithra was in it at the end. And you know Mithra. <laughs> she put up her famous uh, censored special. It wasn't moving this time, but... Uh, She's pulling it back. It, it, was, it was showing some restraint. The judges found a way to say that Mithra's dish made mine better because it just highlighted how not shit it was. And then, <laughs> then at the end of everything... She was. She spun that and said, "Well, Jin, it looks like you owe me one. Feel free to go have these with me on that reward if you want." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my God, Mithra!" It's like, are you fucking serious with me right now? <laughs> She's so good. The Ardanians liked it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, the they uh, didn't say a single one was bad. Hugo was less good, but the dude who called himself a gourmet, like, he said the same thing for every dish. <laughs> it was fun. What a good time. Oh, and another one that I'm sad I couldn't show off. I'm just gonna pause it real quick, because they're about to talk. Was, uh, was with the, with the sick girl. We found her a while back. And after, I'm really sad that you didn't get to show Sick Girl on stream. After all of the other side quests. Well, because it wasn't the very end, so I thought I was just ready to go with it. And then when I was halfway through it, I'm like, this is something special, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you get, you gather all, a bunch of the other people that you've done from a bunch of the other side quests, and they all just sort of, like, come together to help this Sick Girl. And you actually get an item at the end of it called Community Spirit. And Adam has a wife! And a kid, yeah. I think, or and yes. the wife is pregnant, and all the, all the people were like, "What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Why are you out here? Don't don't you have uh, <laughs> responsibilities to take care of? Oh, I see now. <laughs> Alos is heading for Torna's core. In the original configuration, the core is in the Titan's thorax. But the Titan hasn't shown signs of transforming yet. You think the Aegis is taking a nap or something? That would be fortunate for us. That mountain ridge makes up the upper body. That's where the core should appear. It will take some time before the troops are organized. Let us go on ahead. We depart in the morning. In my exploratory travels, I actually found where that's supposed to happen, I think. There was a door. Yep. This sucks. There was a big door. Couldn't go in it. How sitting in the capital? Campfire right next to I it. I want to go with you. Here we go. Way lame. The battle ahead is unlike any we've known before. Please remember that. Jin, can't you tell them? I swear we won't get in the way. No. In this battle, you'd be a distraction. Ugh! Oh, one way to put it. Milton, you'll be a great help to Adam if you stay in the capital. 
<laughs> Come on, don't you get it? You're not hearing them. Okay? You'd be no help on the battlefield. In fact, protecting you from Malos would take all my energy. But hey, I mean, if you stay here and keep Mikhail out of trouble, we'll be able to fight the way we should. That's what they're saying. I don't need looking on. You shut up, Mick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, me and Mithra, we get each other right now. See? You understand, don't you? What you need to do to help Adam? Make me a promise that you'll kill Malos and bring Adam back no matter what. Yeah, I promise. Great. Then we each know what we have to do. Well, they did. I was wondering if that was just a trick of the lighting, but they actually made, like, the bottom of his, of his eyes extra shiny for that. Because <laughs> it went away at the end. Hmm. Surprisingly hmm. diligent. You need some help? Nah. Just killing time. If you want to talk, I'm not sure I'm your guy. Keeping a journal, huh? Bridget's into it too. Is that like a thing now? Who knows? I am what I am, and so is she. You know when your driver dies, you'll return to your core. It feels kind of futile. There's nothing strange about wanting to know who you used to be once you reawaken. You can't be sure you'll even find it though, right? Even so, nothing's for certain, but it's some hope at least. That's a blade's lot. But what's the point? To keep the bond with your driver alive. The bond? I guess that's a little difficult for you to understand. Hey, don't be mean. You make it sound like I have no heart. <sighs> what? <laughs> what I meant was, the true connection that's meant for you, I don't think you'll find it here. But Adam's my driver. Sure, he is. But I feel it's not the same, somehow. Huh? Your real affinity lies in the future, not in the time we're in now. I just feel that in my bones. Call it Blade's intuition. Sounds kind of vague. To change the subject, thanks for before. For what? I didn't expect it. You were both so hopeless with the kids. So hopeless I couldn't just watch. <laughs> I'll consider myself told. I like watching these guys talk. <laughs> Is it because everybody bashes on Mithra? A little bit, but like, it's just <laughs> nice seeing them have just a moment to chat. You know, those types of real chats you only get with a solo person. Like, one-on-one -on -one at 11 at night. This isn't a duel. <laughs> a conversation. A word duel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Well, he just opened up a mountain. Mm-hmm. 
And a, uh, a dragon came out of it. No, no, I haven't seen that part yet. Holy sweet Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. That's a big tail. See? Told you. This continent does not look all that large. It's because it isn't. It's like the full body there, and I could see. Like, I feel like you could see individual people if they were out there. In the desert, I mean, I could see, like, pools. <laughs> the Tornan Titan's true form. Is Malos there? There's no time. Keep moving. Oh yeah, nobody let me forget that either. That's that's first candidate for raid message. <laughs> Party formation has changed, and for the first time, we're not taking Mikhail and. Uh... You already forgot his name. Uh, Ouch. Milton with us. There you go. <laughs> Damn, dude. I wanted to say Minoth and Mithra, and there's so many games that start with Mi in this game that and Mika that aren't Milton. <laughs> That's like gin levels of cold. Just walked out of the capital. I'm just like, I hope. Uh, I hope that one plot device is doing cat, uh, okay. Uh, the green kid. He's, I hope he's got it under control. I, I, I hope. <laughs> uh, Kenneth. Uh, <laughs> Jer no, I think it's, uh, I think it's... Mm -hmm. Mithra just stares literal daggers through <laughs> the back of my head, just light beams. Gordon, that's his name. <laughs> Gordon the Gormati. <laughs> I can't uh, believe you're not fast traveling over there. I could, but this feels like a thing that I want to run for. It's got different music. Yeah, but no, it's like it, 450 meters away. It, it doesn't have different music. Well, you know, it's not really all that far. I kind of want to show people the path as to how I got up there. Also, um, I'm level... What is this? Well, I fell down the slope. Ha! <laughs> I'm level... Um, 54. Should I go fight the fortress before we continue here? Uh, I feel like... Uh... Will the fortress destroy me, or do I have a good shot? Well, it's only level 55. You should be fine. All right. Let's go try try a shot at the fortress. Yeah, travel up to Torcus Plateau. Yeah. And turn around from the spike. You should be face-to-face -face -face with it pretty quick. Right. Where shall we head to next? Yeah, it's literally right there. And it's a yep. night rainy shot now. All right. Let's give it a shot here. Ooh, that's a pretty shot. Especially with the blue grass. Yeah, actually, with the blue grass and the wings up in the background right now, this was probably a really good time to come and do this. This is dope! <laughs> I actually don't even remember what fight, what level I did Desmore at. I... I might have been over-leveled. So I just need to ensure that I get some water down. Mm-hmm. Have you uh, put everybody back to their No, or? no, no, I, I left them in what I had them on. I like Adam as a fire for some reason. He just, like, seems to match it really well. Huh. Yeah, if you're going for boss fights that are a higher level than you, using Haze, like, constantly is pretty optimal. I haven't needed her so far. But, like, I also am kind of focusing on those crit heal things, and I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, crit heal is really helpful. Especially in Torna. Yo, also, in base game, I just beat uh, Cloud C King Ken for the first time. It's not going to be a spoiler to anybody who hasn't played it. He's just uh, one of the end super bosses. I finally beat him, and I got one of those Moon Matter chips from him. And then I gave it to... Uh, to one of Rex's blades, and her crit chance went up to 45 with, like, auto-attack damage of over a thousand. 
I was like, that's Whoa. how you do it. <laughs> that's a good chip. See, that's some shit right there. <laughs> and it. Holy fuck. Oh, dude. But no, have you fought any of the other uh, Super Boys in there? In the main uh, game? Not yet. I've been uh, trying to work on getting up the uh, affinities of some of the blades that I've got. Also, I'm wondering, uh, I, I should probably chain attack right now, because I want to do my real chain attack when he's right around 50%. Once I get all eight orbs up and then just, like, destroy the dude. So this turn I should take to just weaken some stuff up. Yeah. I'll do Jin. Actually, yeah, I think if I do this right, I could weaken three orbs, and then when he's at 50%, I'll just destroy those same three orbs and get a full burst in one round. I might go up to 2,000% damage. Jesus. I want to try that now. Earthquake strike. Yeah, just, just so long as I don't break any of them here. The chain attack won't continue. And I think that's what it takes to get a full burst in round one. I've heard it's possible, but you gotta get three. And the only way to do that is to set it up beforehand. I haven't heard this at all, actually. I've never pulled it off in the first round. Well, we're gonna test the theory here then. Excuse me, four in one round? Pardon? Four, four is two rounds. I was about to say, you yes. cannot physically do four in one round. You could if you had Dahlia. But that's like a really specific instance. I am not familiar. Yeah, Dahlia has the, the thing that uh, lets her hit uh, stuff that's on either side of the orb she's targeting, too. Huh. You didn't know this? No. Dahlia is really good for chain attack. She's not good for much else, but she's really good at that one thing. Okay, so... I don't know if I have everything in there right now. I don't think I've got Jin involved. Let's make sure that we get some ice down. I count six from yeah. where I am right now. That's ice. I see light and dark. I see fire and water. Electric. See, yeah, okay, so that's on Laura. I should be able to get that wrapped up here. Yep, there we go. That's a bolt too. And he's enraged. And I have full chain. Bam, let's go. Okay, that's all eight. I'm only going to break three, but I have them all down. So from here, we'll do Jin. One. Not over. Not by a uh, Minoth. Minoth. And then Bridget. That's two. That that filled it up to half. Bridget. It's not. Ooh, that's really close, but it's not perfect. All right, good luck. Well, I mean, I'm definitely going to... All I have to do is break one more. And I've got three of these things lined up, so I should get another round. How about another round of Carnage? Uh, yeah, go ahead and use Adam. I'm just going to hope that I hit that ice one. Take it away, also, I was going to say this earlier, but I didn't get a chance. Um, Adam's attacks are really simple, like his attack animations. I don't know if I've uh, said it before. I don't think so. His attack animations, like, they're just simple slashes, but they're really satisfying with huge arcs on them. Like, he looks like a real hero swordsman with those with those sword swings. I love it. Yeah, for sure. Right, send Hugo to finish your yeah. dirty business. Yeah. I'm at 1983. Ah. Oh. Son of a bitch. Over, over, he went from 40% health to dead before Hugo took a single swing. That's what you get when you <laughs> bolster the fuck. <laughs> Wonderful. We did it together. That showed him a superb strike. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Jesus. All right, all right. 
All yeah, right. Bridge is like handing the swords off, and he's just like, "Oh, thank you, death." I'll, uh, there you go. I'll, I'll just There's make. I'll, <laughs> I'll just rub it in now. There's the fortress. 